Good Saturday afternoon, YouTube. How are you guys doing today? So I, this video is a repost of a video that I did in July. I'm reposting this video because of the conversation we had earlier in the week during one of our morning coffee breaks, and we were talking about biblical mythology as well as occultism. This story is the story of Adam, Eve, and Lilith. Like I said, I made it this past July, and I want to share it with you guys because of the conversation we had last week. So I'm going to roll this video for you guys, and I will come back and close. Good morning, YouTube. How you guys doing today? I uh, hope you guys are preparing to have a good weekend. So a couple of videos back, um, I promised that I would do a video uh, talking about Lilith. And if you're not familiar with the name Lilith, uh, Lilith was Adam's, and I'm talking about Biblical Adam, um, you know, Adam of the Bible, Adam and Eve. But before there was Adam and Eve, there was actually Adam and Lilith. And there was actually Adam and Lilith before there was Adam and Eve because of the, the, the Bible and the Torah, which is the Hebrew, the Jewish slash Hebrew Bible, uh, tells us that there were two, possibly three creations of man uh, and Adam uh, and the creation of Adam and Lilith is the first or second creation of man and the uh, the the creation the recreation of Adam and Eve was the second or third uh, creation of man. Uh, uh, the Bible hints to the first creation of man being a uh, primitive man, and what primitive man man means is the Bible is that uh, the. Uh, 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 Primitive man means human beings being formed without a spirit. They, 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 they don't have a Holy Spirit or a God particle. They were created uh, to only have an animal spirit or a, uh, a nephish uh, spirit. Uh, in the Torah, uh, these uh, these spirits are, are, there's a name for these spirits or, or souls, if you want to call them. The soul of the animal is called the nephish, and the soul or the God particle is in us is called the uh, is called the Nishuma. Uh, the um, the uh, I'm sorry the, the Egyptians uh, explain these uh, two different souls that are in that are that we possess because we it is said that we possess we possess the animal soul as well as uh, uh, the human soul uh, and the nephesh and the Nishuma. Am I saying it right? The Nishuma, yes. Uh, they, they describe it as our higher and lower selves. Our higher self being the Nishuma, the God particle, and our lower self being Nephesh, the animal soul. So anyway, it said that primitive man was born, was given only the Nephesh, the animal, only the, only given the animal soul. And But after... Uh, the uh, the uh, the nephesh, the primitive the primitive man uh, was created. It said that God was not uh, happy with that, and so he did, so he created Adam and uh, Lilith first. And like I said, uh, Lilith wasn't good with it either, basically. So anyway, fast forward to the story of Adam and Lilith. Uh, and I'm, 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 I'm telling you this in secular talk because I'm trying to go as fast as I can. So Adam and Lilith got into it because Lilith did not want to submit to Adam. I know I said that before, but fast forward. So she eventually couldn't take um, Adam or dealing with whatever it is that he wanted her to do. So she decided she wanted to leave Eden. And the Torah tells us that she was not allowed by God. She was not allowed to leave Eden. And she tried to escape many times. Uh, these escapes uh, were thwarted by Adam until eventually she was so fed up. And, uh, and, and, and by this, she's so fed up and she's uh, uh, ready to defy God. So what she does uh, to defy God is she she. Uh, she speaks the true name of God, which is Yahweh. And at that point in time, it is said that, that no one was supposed to speak the true name of God. Because she spoke of the true name of God, 
she was uh, God was not pleased with that. She was transformed into a demon. Okay, she was transformed into a the story says she was transformed into a demon with wings. Because she was transformed into a demon with wings, she flew above and out of Eden. Because she knew that she had displeased God, she is said that she went and hid in the in the deepest depths of the ocean. Okay, and it says that God sent out three of his angels or messengers, or guardians, whatever you want to call them, to find her. They could not find her at first. They could not find her in part because she met uh, Satan. And in, in Hebrew, Satan means adversary. She has met uh, she had Satan hint, sent out his his general, which and his name was Samael. Samael found her. Uh, this is again. This is happening over the course of thousands of years, right, or even millions of years. Samael found her. Uh, they formed a relationship. Uh, she had. It said that she had thousands of children uh, with Samael, uh, and and those children were named Legion. And we know that Legion uh, in the Bible, Legion are demons. So uh, because she slept with Samael. Uh, uh, she, she she had thousands of demons. And these demons, as well as Samael, as well as the demon Lilith, wreaked havoc uh, over the earth uh, for thousands of years while these angels were trying to find her. Well, the Torah then goes on to say that eventually these angels did find her. They found her. Uh, well, actually, uh, she basically gave up because God told them... Uh, I want you basically to kill a hundred of her children a day until you find her. So when she realizes what God is doing, she comes out of hiding. Uh, before the angels got to kill her, though, she spoke uh, God's true name again. And because she spoke true, God's true name again, she was able to basically, uh, for lack of a better word, strike a bargain with God. You see what I'm saying? God said, I'm basically said, I won't kill you uh, if you promise to stop wreaking havoc over the earth. She promised to stop wreaking havoc uh, over the earth uh, if he promised not to kill no more of her children. But in the course of that, he also made her barren. He made it so that she couldn't have any more children. And when she realized that she was barren and she couldn't have any more children, she was so enraged uh, that it said that uh, she began to uh, come to to men, primitive men at the time, in, in spirit or succubus uh, form, uh, uh, tempting them to, uh, to, to lay with her or lay with one another, you know, lay with another man, another woman, so that when the woman got pregnant, she could kill the baby, all, all because uh, she was so bitter about being barren, not being able to have kids herself, and also she was bitter because a kid, a God had killed uh, thousands of her children. Children. And she was also uh, bitter to the point to where she sent Samael to seek out Eve in the Garden of Eden. Not to kill Eve, but to corrupt Eve because uh, she knew that that would anger God. And by this time, like I said, she is bitter and, and basically she don't care no more. So Eve, uh, 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 Samael goes to Eden. Uh, he, he, uh, he, um, he comes to Eve in the form of a serpent. And he convinces Eve, the story tell us, tells us to eat uh, of the tree of knowledge. Okay? And uh, oh, and I, I fast forwarded a little bit. Round about the time that uh that that uh, Samael and Lilith uh were were making baby demons or whatever you uh God saw that uh Adam it was not good for Adam to be alone in the garden so uh in Genesis chapter 2 it's, it tells us the story of the second creation and the second creation goes uh God uh, caused the man to fall into a deep sleep and well he was sleeping he took he took one of the ribs he took one of the man's ribs um, and then the Lord God made woman and woman was created to be uh, Adam's helpmate 
she was also because but because she was created in part uh, with Adam's rib uh, she was now she would now be submissive to him but mind you uh, they 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 still have free will okay so she's the story goes uh, it goes on to say that she was walking in the garden alone one day uh, uh, Samael corrupted her and convinced her to eat uh, from the tree of knowledge and what they mean by that is a lot of people think because it is worded that way in the Bible that she ate a piece of fruit you know she ate a piece of forbidden fruit from the uh, from the uh, from the tree when actually what she did was uh, Samael corrupted her uh, uh, and talked her basically into to sleeping with him, having sex with him. When she had sex with him, when she lay with him, she became pregnant with Cain. After she became, after she slept uh, with um, with Samael, she went back to Adam and she showed and told Adam all that she had learned. She then slept with Adam and she became pregnant with um, with um, with Abel. Okay, so now she's pregnant with Cain and Abel. And we all know the story of Cain and Abel. Uh, and so the original sin was not her uh, eating eating a piece of fruit off of the tree of knowledge. It was her having sex with Samael and then having sex with her husband, Adam. Okay, so she is now pregnant with, uh, I guess you would call them fraternal twins because she's pregnant with them uh, at the same time. All right. And... Fast forward to when Cain and a oh, and, and also there is a a, a a medical phenomenon that it is possible. And if you don't believe me, please Google it. That it is possible for a woman to have an egg fertilized uh, by one man, and uh, uh, and if you sleep with him, uh, if you sleep with another man in time. Uh, you know, in, in close, in, in close, you know, time to when you slept with the first one, it is possible for his sperm to fertilize another egg, and you will have fraternal twins. You will have, uh, you will have fraternal twins, but they will have different fathers. There are actual medical cases of that. Those cases are rare, uh, but they do in fact happen. And you ought to Google it. Even today, they happen. It is possible to uh, be pregnant with two babies by two different. Uh, you know, they have two different baby daddies at the same time. Okay? Anyway, I got confused with that. But yeah. But anyway, that happened. So, <clears throat> fast forward to to um, God realizing what had happened. He cast uh, Adam and Eve out of the Garden of Eden because their souls have now been corrupted. They are no longer without sin. Uh, they know who they are, they know, Adam knows that he is a male, uh, uh, Eve knows that she's a female, and, uh, and God cursed uh, Adam and Eve, the man and the woman, uh, that, that, that we will always have enmity and strife between us because of this original sin, and the woman, uh, when she goes through childbirth, she will go through great pain uh, when she's having uh, her babies, okay, because, and that is why they say that we are all uh, born in sin, uh, not because, you know, your mama slept with your daddy and she wasn't married to him, uh, we are say that we are born in sin because of the original sin, it's because Adam, uh, it's because Eve slept with Samael, then she corrupted Adam, anyway, they're exiled from Eden, but they are still not in the land of God, uh, in the land of Nod. I'm sorry. Um, so uh, they raised Adam and uh, they, they raised Cain and Abel. I'm sorry. Uh, we know the story. Cain kills Abel. Cain, Cain is uh, then exiled to the land of Nod. He is he's pleading with God because he is he is afraid that he's going to get killed in the land of Nod because in the land of Nod is where the primitive man is still dwelling. Do you see? what I'm saying the still not fully formed human being uh, still dwells in the land of Nod so it said that God put a mark upon Cain's head so that he could not uh, he would not be killed and he was able to dwell uh, in that land and in that land it said that Cain found a wife uh, and the Bible tells of uh, Cain's lineages and the accomplishments of Cain's lineages okay so uh, 
I, I just, well, let me, let me fast forward. So it said, the Bible also says that a hundred and, was it a hundred and three years? I believe it was 103 years or something like that. After the death, after Cain killed Abel, um, Adam had a son, and he called that son Seth. Okay? And through Seth, uh, we are, are able to track uh, the lineage of the Jesus. Uh, because Seth uh, is the uh, is a 10 generations. There was... Seth had 10 generations of children, and in that 10th generation, Noah was, uh, uh, Enoch was born. And uh, after Enoch was born, Seth was born. And that is how you track the bloodline of Jesus going back to the first man, Adam. So anyway... I'm going to stop right here. That is the story of Lilith. I know this is, has, has gone on so long, but it's so much more that I would like to put in this video. Like I said, I'm going to stop right here. But anyway, I hope you guys, uh, you know, got a good understanding of not only the story of creation, but the story of Adam, Eve, uh, Lilith, Samael, uh, Cain and Abel and Seth. You know, we mentioned them briefly. You know what I mean? So anyway... Uh, that's the story. Uh, that's how I read it. That's my version of it. And I'm going to leave it at that. <laughs> okay, I hope you guys have a nice weekend. Let me know what you think about this video. Okay, guys, that was the end of the video. I hope you guys can understood, understand what I was, I was saying. That was basically my Cliff Notes version uh, of the whole thing. And... um. I, I wanted to repost this video because of a conversation that we had uh, earlier in the week uh, in one of our breakfast club. Um, I'm sorry, our breakfast club. Thinking about the movie, right? One of our br coffee break <laughs> conversations, right? Where we was talking about Bible mythology, a little bit of occultism and something like that. These are one of the more popular uh, stories, the story of Lilith, uh, because they call her the mother of demons. Uh, this is uh, one of the more popular stories uh, in some Wiccan and occult circles. Uh, because uh, they say that she birthed the first demons uh, because she slept with an angel. Uh, uh, and, you know, uh, she birthed uh, and because she slept with an angel, uh, it made under other angels want to sleep uh, with other human women, um, bringing about a, a race of human called the Nephilim. The Nephilim are talked about in the book of Enoch. I want to I also want to repost of this video because next week I'm going to attempt, I'm going to try if I have time to do a video about uh, the book of Enoch, a, li a, a couple of chaps chapters in the book of Enoch. Anyway, it is said that Enoch, Enoch walked with God and a lot of people don't understand uh, what, uh, what, what that meaning, what that really means. And I'm going to try to uh, break that down to you guys. Anyway, uh, like, share, subscribe. Let me know what you think about this video in the comment section below. Uh, like I said, a couple of people have asked me to do a video about the book of Enoch, and I'm going to attempt to do that. Um, do you have any questions about what I said? There are uh, many, many versions of the story of creation, and this is just one of those versions. I like this version. Uh, you know, I, I like this version because uh, it leaves out a couple of interesting facts that are not included in the Bible. And to decode the Bible, you have to go through many uh, different books to try to understand even a couple of chapters uh, in the Bible. And since Genesis is the first book in the Bible, that is another reason why I want to share this video with you guys. Anyway, I hope you guys have a nice weekend. Hope you like this video. Let me know what you think about it in the comment section. Talk to you later. Bye-bye. Peace.